Cuties and welcome back to this channel. If you haven't noticed, well I've noticed, it's much brighter and we're gonna be getting things a lot more clear around here because I have now officially got my ring light, which means I don't have to film in the morning so it's bright before work, I can film whenever the fudging where I want to, which has made me super happy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got for Christmas, I am 1 billion percent not boasting, I just like being a bit nosy myself and watching these videos and I was like, if I like watching them, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys like watching them too, so I was like, I asked on Instagram, would you guys be up for watching one of these types of videos and you were like, sure thing girl, I love them, so I was like, I'm gonna have to film it now, I'm just gonna have to, aren't I? So yeah. <laughs> If you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll pop the Instagram here. Um, it's basically at basically a princess, which is a long story to that name. I don't think you're my princess, by the way. So without further ado, I will show you guys everything I got for Christmas. I also hope you had a super fabulous Christmas too, and you had a lovely one with your loved ones and your family, and yeah, you had a really nice time. So let's show you guys everything that I picked up for Christmas. I'm actually, this is the first thing I've got, was on Christmas Eve, I get Christmas people. Christmas pyjamas every year and I was like, do you know what? I worked on Boxing Day yesterday and I'm filming this the next day and this was like my Boxing Day because I worked yesterday. So I was like, I'm gonna have my hair up today in that kind of weird, messy kind of look and wear my Christmas pyjamas. So this is my Christmas pyjamas and I thought, what a better way to wear them than to wear them for my um, video. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up. Let's go. One of the items I got from my mum was this it's kind of the take on, what's that brand called? I've completely forgotten the brand. I've forgotten the brand. But anyway, I got this lovely um, Velvet Rose number 14 limited edition candle set from Aldi. It's the take on, after it used to this lighting on the camera. Oh, that's not very good. Basically, it's a really nice candle from Aldi, which is the take on another brand, which I've totally forgotten of. And if it comes back to me, then I'll tell you. But you'll all be watching this knowing what brand it is, so there's no point in saying it anyway. But yeah, I got this one in Velvet Rose, and then I got another one in Lime Basil and Mandarin. And to be fair, I just wanted the candle, but my mum got me the full gift set, so I'm sure they'll be really nice. It's got like a room spray in it as well, and a reed diffuser in the middle, they both have them. So thank you very much, mum and dad, for them, they're lush. I then just got some Carmex um, lip balm, because I'm forever using lip balm. I'm trying to rip some off it before I show you guys it. Um, some Carmex lip balm, just like an absolute Christmas essential, because I use it all the time. Um, yeah, Carmex lip balm. Can't go wrong. I got this little teddy. I'm not, this is in no particular order. I'm just like grabbing it from the bag. Then I got this little teddy from Lou. Every year he gets me a teddy for Christmas. And like, if he didn't get me one, I'd be a bit like, what's going on? But I'm a bit, I love this one because last year he probably got the hint. He got me a teddy. It was literally huge. And I've never, it's stayed in the cupboard all year. But I like cozy ones like this. I can just like snuggle up to. You're looking very white, Bunny, compared to my tanned complexion. I've got a nice cute bunny. Got this very nice facial mask. It's a pure charcoal black tissue mask. Um, I'm meant to leave it on 15 minutes and apparently it'll make my skin look glowing. So yeah, I got that. I also got three more facial, wax, a facial masks from my mum and dad. And I got these three, um, a cucumber one, a black seaweed one, and a manuka honey one. So that was really luxurious. Then for my mum and dad, I've taken it out and used this, but this was actually the only thing I asked for for Christmas this year with this and the Aldi um, candle, which is a take on a brand I've completely forgotten about. Um, but I got these rose gold eyelash curlers because my eyelashes are non-existent. And today I haven't even got mascara on because I'm having a lazy day, as I've told you guys. So, um, I got these rose gold eyelash curlers and it literally makes sure like you've had false eyelashes on when you actually don't. So these are absolutely flipping amazing and they're from the brand Tweezer Man. So the top of the range ones these are. Then in my stocking from Lou, back to something Lou got me, he got me this little H mirror so I can like top my makeup off at work, make sure I'm looking luscious at all times. Love that. Then from my granny and granddad I got this gorgeous book that's called The Kindness Diary. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, and it's just basically filled with things, random acts of kindness. It gives you different tips on like different acts of kindness you could do. Make someone a cup of tea, send someone a card, call a relative, buy someone a coffee, pay someone a compliment, help someone see the positive, bring treats to work. Loads of ideas of different things you can do. And basically it says you've got to do one act of random kindness a day for the whole year and you record 
like the random acts of kindness in it. And I just think that's an absolutely lovely thing. Um, it's an absolutely amazing gift and I literally love it. Then at the back of it, it says, when you first wake up and before you go to bed, take the time to think about what you are thankful for. And then it says, think positive and the rest will follow, which is really nice. And it's just a full book of things that you should be thankful for. So I really, really love that. Then my sister's constantly winding me and Lou up because since I moved out, so we're like, I'm like a vino. I love my wine and an evening. Love my glass of vino, can't go wrong with it. So then she got us this book saying, little book of drinking games. I felt like saying, I love it. But Elizabeth, me and Lou aren't some sort of hardcore, Party animals now, well, to be fair, we do like a drink. Um, I have, so it's got loads and loads of cool drinking games, so I'm gonna get Lou. Taste your, test your nerve and drinking metal. Players must sit in a circle with an empty glass in the center. So there's loads of different drinking games. Um, maybe I'll take that down to England when we go down to see the family lamb tomorrow. Who knows? I got some chocolate Santas in my stocking. Um, can't get wrong with a bit of chocolate in your stocking. I then got this sweatshirt, which I'm totally in love with, and it says, Insta famous. <laughs> Isn't that good guys? Insta famous sweatshirt. Um, it was from Primark and I think, it, unless she's taken the price tag off it. No, she hasn't. It was five pounds, so it's really, really readable and you guys could head down and get one as well, I'm sure, because we'll all want to be rocking that Insta famous sweatshirt. In fact, to the point, I think I'm gonna travel in mine tomorrow down to England, so yeah. Insta famous sweatshirt because we all wanna be that little bit Insta famous, who doesn't? Then for my auntie, I got these really nice pink hand warmers, but like they're not, you don't have, they're not gloves, but they're like hand warmers, like you put your hand in it like that. I thought they were quite cute. I'll probably wear these to work, to be honest, because my hands get so cold in work, but then they'd also look quite nice in like a leather jacket or something. It felt like you've got like a fluffy jumper coming out the bottom. But yeah, I really like them, they're great. And they were from M&S, if anyone is wondering. And then my mum picked me up another top from Primark. It's just absolutely stunning, actually, this. It's basically, a beige sort of turtleneck jumper, but it's got these really nice buttons. You see them? Really not sexy, so I need to get them done tomorrow. These buttons, it's got like a sparkly one, a rose goldy one, and like a tortoise shell button. Just basically a really nice simple sweatshirt, but with like a little bit of detail. It makes it look quite luscious, so I got that. Then from my granny, I got another present from my granny. I got these really super soft, fluffy pajamas from new look and they've just got little polar bears and little trees and reindeers all over them and these would be so cozy for this time of year because look they're super soft and i'll probably save these for next christmas because i think these are really really nice so that is a definite love mm. i got the bottom matching bottoms as well actually guys just in case you're thinking did she just get the top did she just get the tops no nope, i got the bottoms matching bottoms too and if you're wondering what the prices are it's $12.99 for the bottom, and I think it was like $12.99 for the top too, so they might even be in the sale now. Christmas has passed, they might be in the sale. Then I got packs and packs of facial wipes, because every year my mum likes to give me like a um, presents that I'm going to use throughout the whole year. So she got me a three-in-one um, facial wipes from Poundland, another couple packets of these, and a few packets of these Nivea three-in-one cleansing wipes, because you can't go wrong with these, like I'm going to be using these all year round, so... You might as well stop me up with some, so I was really grateful for these. I then got this hilarious present which made me smile so much. Mike, as anyone who knows, if you follow me on Instagram, I've already said at the beginning, but go and follow me because you'll totally see what I'm talking about. Every day on my Instagram stories, I'm like, morning everybody, how are you all? Just making my cup of tea. So um, yeah, first of all, I got this mug saying my cup of tea and inside it, it tells you the levels of cup of teas. So it could be milky, classic British, builder's brew, just tea. Now I'm telling you one thing, it should have a Yorkshire tea on that because I make my teas spot on, I'm telling you that. So I don't know where she got this from, but I think that's pretty cool. So I really like that. And then, shock horror, got another mug from my auntie and it says, a cup of tea solves everything. Couldn't agree with you more. A cup of tea solves absolutely everything. Then I got this gorgeous mug, which I am actually obsessed, like, obsessed with. I am the biggest chatterbox you will ever come across in life. And I got this one that says, I'm a bit of a chatterbox. And it says, I can talk and 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 talk. I can talk a lot. <laughs> and I got this little Miss Chatterbox mug, which once my Christmas mugs go away, this is gonna be my next favorite gal. And it's got a little tag on it. Just to, It says, little Miss mug. I absolutely love, I love that, it's my face. I then got 
a lifetime supply of fake tan because this girl is a little bit, you know, just a little bit tan obsessed. So she gave, she always gives me a year's supply of fake tan at Christmas. I go for maybe one bottle every two months, so maybe a month and a half. So she got me five bottles, the other one I can't find, of my favourite St. Marie's fake tan. Um, because I'm just obsessed with it. And literally, I've just run out of my bottle at the moment. Um, I was like holding off, because Christmas is coming. I was like, I'm sure she's gonna buy me some fake tan. But I don't know if she's gonna buy me it, so I'll just hold off just in case. And yes, yeah, she did. So she got me a full four bottles, five bottles of fake tan, which will last me most of the year. She then got me a year supply of flipping garlic and herbs, salt. I'm obsessed with it. it might be a funny thing to get um, for Christmas, but if they ever run out in the shops, I will genuinely be devastated. I just live off my garlic, salt, love it. Um, so yeah, I got that. I have it on every every meal. I have this garlic salt on. So yeah, this is absolutely incredible. She got me about four bottles of this. I was like, thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. I love you so much. I then got the chocolate orange because you can't have any too many chocolate oranges at Christmas time, can you? My sister, she got me this Cosmic Unicorn Limited Edition Imperial Leather Body Wash because it's just so magical looking and it does smell pretty fab. Oh, it smells lovely. She got me that. I then got this, I then got this True Match L'Oreal Anti-Fatigue Illuminating, Illuminating Concealer Matches the Colour Texture of Your Skin. So it's basically, oh wait, you switch it over there. It's basically just, I think it just goes under your eyes because I use a number seven one at the moment. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try this one, see what I, what I think about it. Um, my mum's got me in the colour Ivory Beige. So give a bit of um, illuminating under the eyes. Can't go wrong, can you? Make me look more awake than I already am. I'm always shattered, like, so this will make me look good. Then I got this gorgeous light from my auntie and my cousins, which honestly I can't thank them enough for because my flat is covered in rose gold stuff. And it's just literally this beautiful rose gold lamp, which is gonna go on my living room work surface when all the Christmas decks come down. And I'm really sad and like, oh, my Christmas decorations have come down. I can't believe it. So I'm gonna put this on the top and it'll make me feel like better about myself. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna look pretty. So yeah, I got this I got this light and I just think it's very pretty. Then from my sister, she knows me too well, I got this selfie light, which I just think is pretty cool, that you put on your phone and then it just makes you look like totally illuminated. Um, you, could, you couldn't get a better present. You could have constantly good pictures with this apparently. So I got that for my sister. I then got a super hilarious present for my mum and dad. I got flipping, 480 Yorkshire tea bags, get in! I was so happy, I was like, oh my goodness. It was one day before Christmas and we ran out of Yorkshire tea bags. I ran out of Yorkshire tea bags and I was like, oh, mum, I need to buy some Yorkshire tea bags. And she was like, Do, could you, have you got anything in that you can use without using the Yorkshire tea bags? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. I've actually, I have actually got some um, Tesco's own brand ones. And she was like, do you want to just use them? And I was thinking, why well, wouldn't I just want to use Yorkshire tea? Well, we don't want to use Tesco's own brand um, tea bags. Like, I'm not, I'm not a snob or anything, but Yorkshire tea bags is life. So I was like, uh, Mum, not really. And she was like, come on, Harry, it's one day till Christmas. I was like, oh, fucking heck. So I was like, yeah, okay, Mum. And then she was like, um, on Christmas morning, I told you you shouldn't have bought any more tea bags because I got flipping 480 of them. I mean, like, what are you saying? This will last me nearly the six months, maybe. So, yeah, pretty impressed with that. Yorkshire tea bags. I don't know where she got them from, but I have seen them in Tesco's and B and M's. If you also want to get your hands on something like this, because it's fucking amazing, and I just literally screamed. I went, Ah, Yorkshire tea bags! I think anyone should get that excited about tea bags, but I did get that excited, so it's okay, guys, if you did too. I then got this really cool fake tan mitt, which has got like you can put your hand, your thumb in it, which I just find really cool because I always find your thumb gets kind of like, stuck in the side when you're doing the fake tan. So I'll see how that goes. I usually only use the Saint Marie's tan um, fake tan mitt because that's what's compatible to my fake tan so i'm not sure how this is going to go down because one sec it's super soft it's like a soft fake tan mitt the brand is called fame so i don't know how it's going to go but it's super soft it might be amazing it might be rubbish i will test it out and tell you guys what i think i then got these lights which i'd sort of said to my mum that for youtube I want to do as best as I can do on YouTube this next year. So I wanted a really good backdrop, setting, camera. You know, I wanted to just do the best I can at YouTube basically because I'm loving it. I'm loving filming videos. I'm loving editing them. I'm just loving the whole jazz of it. So I saw these backdrop lightings, you know, the fairy lights that go down the back of the wall. 
guess what she did? She flipping got me them. And my dad, obviously. But look at them. So there's just hundreds of fairy lights. And the minute the tree comes down, this is going to be our new backdrop. I'm going to have them all dropping down the wall um, and looking absolutely incredible, these lights. So prepare to see that in the new year. A beautiful backdrop of fairy lights. Um, I literally, I was so excited. I'm so grateful for everything that she got me. There was just so much thought put into everything. Um, so yeah, no, I'm really chuffed with that. My mum also got me, which isn't here right now, but maybe I could try and insert a picture now. She basically got me um, a pink velvet chair for my YouTube videos so that when I set up my YouTube corner in the flat, I'm gonna have my fairy light backdrop, my pink velvet chair, and now she also got me the ring light that I've got now filming this video. So she basically set me up for life with my YouTube set out, um, and my dad as well. I honestly thank them so much for it. Like I never thought I'd be asking for a flipping ring light and fairy backdrop lights for Christmas, but I did. I didn't ask for them, they just, they just got me them because they knew that was something that I really, really, I would probably have spent a few months humming and hiring, should I buy it? Do you know what I mean? Because this is just a hobby doing the YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm super grateful for the chair and the, the lamp and the lights. I can, could not thank you enough. But Lou's present, I've left it to last to show you guys what he got me um, because it just, it's absolutely incredible. Like I literally can't thank him enough. But basically what he did is, I came home on Christmas Eve and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm home, it's Christmas, woohoo! And under the tree there was this like huge ball. I was like, what the heck is going on? Why is there a huge ball under my Christmas tree? And it was like wrapped up and obviously wrapped in wrapping paper and I thought, that's it, he's got me a teddy bear for Christmas. Um, and I had my stocking on the floor as well, he'd filled the stocking up and everything. So I was like, what the heck could it be? And then obviously, he, he, I didn't know, he didn't tell me, I had no clue whatsoever. Usually you kind of get a, like an idea with Lou what he's got you for Christmas. But this year I had absolutely no idea and I was just like, okay, we'll go with the flow and see what it is. The next morning I got Lou to open all his presents that I got him first. And then I opened it up and there was like a huge little bag, right? wrapped with a, loads of jackets, like twirled in a ball in the middle of it. And he was like, undo the jackets, undo the jackets. And under all the jackets was a box, just neatly little box wrapped with like a little um, bow on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's that? And I ripped it open and guys, let me just show you what he got me for Christmas. Cause literally I could not thank him enough. Usually Lou gets me handbags, shoes, and he chooses, he's usually very good. Lou chooses them all himself. But this year it's something totally different. Something that like, I didn't think two years ago I would have been like chuffed for for Christmas. I'm just gonna show you. He got me the Canon G7X Mark II for Christmas. He'd heard me saying that this is a really good vlogging camera and I, like, I don't know much about cameras, but I knew that this was meant to be a very good vlogging camera and the quality is absolutely flipping insane. It's absolutely insane. I was literally screeching. I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm so happy. I've been setting it up um, basically for the last couple of days since Christmas. And today I've been struggling to get it to connect to the internet, but I'm no pro. So tomorrow when we go down to England, we're meeting all the family and my cousin Chloe's boyfriend, he's at university studying stuff to do with computers and tech, I don't know, I, to be fair actually, I don't know if that's what he's studying. I just know he's very good at filming and he's, I think he's studying filming. Anyway, he's gonna help me set it up because I've asked my mum tonight, it says please, I need him to help me set this up because I don't know what I'm doing. Me and Lou have been trying for hours. It's so high tech that I just, I don't know what I'm doing with it. So. Bear with me guys, but we're gonna get some super amazing, fabulous, amazing quality cameras. And I'm gonna show you guys the camera just now quickly because um, it's pretty amazing. Ta-da! Look at that. Like, let's switch it on. So, I can literally film myself and the quality is absolutely flipping insane. Like, you are gonna see every freckle on my face now. But look at that one set. I don't know how you're gonna see me. It's just insane. Oh yeah, here we are. Can you see that? How insane quality is that? So good. Is it focusing? So I just can't wait for you all to see the quality of these videos. My videos are gonna get so much better quality and 
yeah, I didn't ask for any of this for Christmas, but I just wanted to show you guys everything that I picked up. I feel so, so flipping lucky. Uh, thank you very much for watching me. I would love to see you guys, what I got for Christmas videos if you're watching this and you have a YouTube channel too. Let me link your video below or tell me you've got a video and I will go and watch it. Also, tell me what your favourite thing you got for Christmas is in the description and I will reply to all my comments, always reply to every single comment that you guys leave me. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. If you just found me, do not forget to click that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world and give me a huge thumbs up. Thank you for so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>